I had lost my kids, I lost my house, I lost everything that I held dear. Everything. Alicia suffered devastating consequences after injuring her shoulder while serving in the U.S. Army in 1998. I had several surgeries on it. I got hooked on pain pills and then eventually um, moved on to heroin. She says one day she wandered around the halls of the Boise VA until she found someone. I ran into a couple of the social workers in there and they said, I need help. If you turn me away today, I might die and I don't want to die. She says a lot of her drug use came from trying to mask mental scars from sexual trauma, PTSD and domestic violence. I threw myself into my recovery. She describes the VA's treatment approach as holistic. She says it helped both with her addiction and mental health. I had a psychiatrist psychiatrist, a therapist, an awesome social worker that helped me grow and without those people I would not be alive today. Not only is she alive today in a job and a home with her family back, she's this. Excellent, I've never been happier. She says she doesn't take for granted that she lived near a VA center, but for veterans in far away areas, one VA leader says using telehealth and a new model called VA Care to Everywhere. We can uh, interface with a veteran on their tablet or smartphone through a link wherever they are. The Behavioral Health Department has plans to interact with veterans across the region directly by sponsoring educational events. We'll be going to Emmett, Ontario, McCall in Sun Valley. She says they'll provide a template for how to create one's own safety plan. Whether or not they think they have an immediate need for it now. If you or someone you love is in crisis, do not hesitate to reach out to either number on your screen for 24 seven confidential help from professionals. In studio, Madeline White, six on your side.